Well, hello. This is my custom lifted racing and off-road lawnmower. It's taken me a very long time to build this machine, but I am happy to say it is done for the most part. It still has a couple things that need finished. I'll show you everything that I've done to it. This thing started life on the frame of a Craftsman LT1000. It's Hood and the engine are from a Troy built pony. It has a small block shroud on it, but it is a 31 cubic inch engine. It has been modified to fit a slide carburetor for increased horsepower. It has a Makuni pulse pump. A fuse box installed for all of my accessories. A very nice and hard to find DLT 2000 dash comes with amp meter and hour meter. The center console is custom, is made from a Murray 1138 dash flipped upside down and mounted to my seat pan. Custom gas pedal made from the go pedal off of a hydro tractor. Runs underneath and into some linkages. Comes up through my throttle cable. The entire wiring harness has been redone by myself. Up top, I have a tachometer. That is key actuated with shift light. It's set to 5,000 RPM. The transmission is a six speed Peerless 820 garden tractor transmission. It comes with the one inch output axles and a three quarter inch input shaft, which gives this thing plenty of strength. I've also installed a light bar mounted on a Craftsman aftermarket bumper. And this thing is bright. It will light up the entire night. I also implemented some LED replacement bulbs wired into the factory sockets on the hood. And those are quite bright as well. They're good for on-road use. It also has underglow, which may be hard to see at the moment. But if you get up underneath, you can see it's there. And I currently had to have it set to party mode, but I also usually use it to see what's below me whenever I'm crawling over stuff at night. My lift kit is a completely custom design by taking two frames and mounting them on top of each other with a bunch of extra supports and by cutting off the rearmost part of it. So that lifts the dash, the base of the seat pan, the hood, and the steering wheel raises that all up. The underside of the seat or the rear of the seat pan is different because I had to cut some stuff off in order for this gas tank to work. What I ended up doing was taking some old seat springs off the uh, Troy build I scrapped a bunch of parts from and they are the perfect height of the second frame to where it adds support and raises the seat pan up but also gives me the extra cushion for whenever I'm going over some steep bumps. Another mod is voltmeter with accessory power so that way I can charge stuff while I'm overlanding. I also have a phone mount 
but that's just to use as a uh, GPS speedometer. Future mods I plan to do to this thing. Change my front wheel and tire combination. I'm currently running 18 inch tires from a Murray. And they are not on bushings or bearings. They are just they just have grease, which is not ideal because that can cause your wheels to lock up when going, you know, about the 30 miles an hour that this thing will do. That is quite annoying. So I've got some Yamaha YFZ450 wheels and tires that are going to go on this once I find proper hubs for it to go on the front. I plan to lock the rear axle using a locker kit from EC Carburetors. It'll also widen my rear track width so it lets me crawl over stuff safer, you know, because it doesn't allow it to roll as easily. I need to find a switch and mount some of my rear lights. I have tail lights and backup light combination that is going on to this thing. I have the lights. I just need to switch to complete it because the switch that came with it was no good. Also, I need to find a way to link my choke here to the carburetor. And currently, there's no choke going into this little port right here. And I have to figure out a way to put a little bead on the end of the choke cable in order for it to work properly. Probably just put some solder on it. I also want to take the factory hand throttle and turn it into cruise control for my foot, uh, my gas pedal. The front axle is cast iron. I found that from the DLT 2000 that I also used a bunch of parts off of. So that gives me some extra strength. Steering was quite the challenge, along with clutch. Doing the frame stacking it, uh, was, a, was an interesting process to figure out how to get those to work. But what I ended up doing was cutting a slot on the bottom of this frame for my stock drag link location and had it come down and I ran it to an extension off of the front spindle and it needs reinforced more I only have one bolt holding it on torque to about 200 foot pounds but it works clutch I converted it to a short throw by lowering the linkage on it here Run it on the stock clutch system, minus one pulley that goes here, which I need to reinstall that. The only reason I took it out is because my belt was too short, and uh, it works. Other small mods is taking garden tractor engine or transmission mounts and making those fit onto the lawn tractor frame. So this transmission is not going anywhere. Another thing I plan to do is add dual tanks. I currently have one tank under the seat, and I had one here before it, but I didn't make my uh, fuel brackets strong enough, and it ended up falling into my engine shroud here and eating a hole in the bottom of it, so I had to repair that tank. I've done that already by using a soldering iron and some weed eater string to patch a plastic hole. Surprisingly, it works very well. Also, my exhaust. That's the biggest thing I need to fix. All it is right now is just a straight pipe coming out from the head. Just goes straight down right there. It is so loud. I mean, you know, loud can be good, but this is just overwhelming. So what I'm going to do, I have already ordered some flexible exhaust about this diameter. I'm going to cut here and run it down into the muffler, which should mount right here. And I have this uh, chrome stack coming up right here. It's about three and a half inches wide and about a foot and a half long. 
and the reason I'm running a stack instead of like an under like you know exhaust under here coming out the side is because this right here is a spark plug tied into my engine that is going to go inside of my exhaust and cause my rich mixture to blow flames out of the exhaust the way I got this to work is by taking a twin cylinder coil and replacing my single cylinder so I have one plug in my engine and one plug for accessories now I have to use this magnet to hold it on here because if this thing is not grounded the engine won't start but it runs great and the tachometer works gauges work accessories work everything on this thing works except for these controls here Also, I need to find a uh, center wheel cap here for a DLT or a DGT or a DYT tractor of the same year. They're kind of hard to find, so it's going to be a process looking for one. But I think I found one on eBay that's reasonably cheap. Also, I need to get another seat because this one is just duct taped everywhere from all sorts of tears from where I got this thing. So that needs repaired. I'm also going to add a rear four-wheeler rack to it to, so I can carry stuff when I'm over landing. But yeah, that is my machine. It's taken me a long time to build it, but man, it is way, way worth it. It is one of the greatest things I've ever built. Currently won't start because the battery's dead, but it does run and it sounds mean. Too mean. It's too loud. Probably wouldn't be able to hear it very well because of how loud it is in my crappy speaker quality, but it'll move. We've done a couple drag races with it against a broken hydro that goes about 15 miles an hour. And, uh, yeah. It's it's a project it's still being worked on you could never have a finished project so yeah this is something i encourage lots of people to create i'll leave some links down below to some other people's channels that i highly recommend watching to get inspiration like how i did to make this machine And I want to see what you can build. I want you to try to build something as good or even better than this. It may take some time, or you may be able to build it faster. Since, you know, this was, you know, maybe like a couple hours a week or something worked on for several years. But taking time on it also allowed me to find cheaper parts for it. I think I have about maybe a total of three hundred dollars in this whole project and it is worth every penny of it so yeah let me see what you can build